New, 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 new. All right, got some new products. Lady That's Ada. right. Um, but first, if you didn't get a chance to shop and you want to print out this beautiful gift certificate and give someone the gift of Adafruit. Maybe you don't know what they want. Yeah. Well, Maybe you know that you buy a bunch of stuff from Adafruit. Um, we got these great gift certificates. Just go to adafruit.com slash gift certificates. And you still got plenty of time for that. Yes. All right. Speaking of gifts. Yeah. If you want to give, uh, you've probably seen all the Adabox tweets and Facebook stuff and you're like, I'm, I'm getting the fear of missing in. out or maybe you didn't hear about Adabox and you say, okay, now's the time to join. Or you know a young person who would love to get four of these great boxes a year. Yes. You can get Adabox right now and gives it, give it as a gift and it'll start in early 2020 in March. That's right. And I guarantee you this will be... Uh, a really fun Ada box in 2020. And a full year's worth. So they yep. get four boxes and then next year, I don't know, I'll think of something else to get them. All right, next up, an SD card. That's right, <laughs> we have updated this SD card. Uh, this is our stock um, Raspbian Lite card. Yeah. And we've updated this, I think the last one we had was Stretch and now it's Buster Lite. So that means it works with all the modern Raspberry Pis up to it, including the Pi 4. So if you want to just get an SD card ready to go, you don't have to worry about burning it, we have these Buster yeah. Light cards. Okay, next up. Getting started with Raspberry Pi is a magazine starter kit, and that's not just a photo of a Pi. Uh, yeah, it's cool. A three uh, A. It's yeah, actually that's, that's a Raspberry Pi. It's a real yeah, thing. Yeah, it's a real thing. So actually, yeah, I'll show this stuff. because it's uh, it's physical. Yeah. So it comes in a magazine and has a case yep. and everything. Has all sorts of Raspberry Pi A projects. This is the. Yes. So you get this magazine, yep. and so it's got like paper. But yeah. then you also get um, a Raspberry Pi case that's like molded yeah. on, a 3A, yeah. so that's a really nice board. It's very powerful, it's quite fast, it's built in Wi-Fi and Bluetooth, you can connect displays to it, has HDMI output, uh, it has a USB, uh, you can get to a hub or a keyboard, audio, um, power, just power it with any micro B, and of course headers, you can connect any cool stuff you want. And it also has an SD card ready to go, you can plug it in. So all you really need is a HDMI monitor, um, and a USB keyboard yeah, and smart. you're ready to rock. This is a nice gift to give because it's like it's a starter kit. It has all the stuff including the case that you need and then it has a book with articles and more. Yes, it's one. It's a great, I like, it's a really good idea because it's just like you get the book and you get the parts. Yeah. You don't have to go chasing down everything. Okay. Alright, so it's from Raspberry Pi Foundation and Magpie. Next up. Next up, from Evil Mad Scientist, if you love their 555 um, transistor kit, where you got like large transistors. Now they have an SMT version where you're building this adorable little 555 kit. And let's go to the overhead because you have to see how cute it is. It's so cute. Uh, it's cute. so cute. And Jelly put this together. So it comes with um, like a metal case to hold it. And then all of these, it actually works. Like you actually build a working 555. You have the power and ground pins, trigger output reset. Uh, control voltage threshold and discharge so you can use this in your blinky project or PWM or motor controller or like a some like synthesizer thing it's got uh, instructions showing you all the parts and then as we mentioned um, you know the parts are SMT and they've got this kind of cool like large tape and reel I don't know how they did this yeah. um, a beautiful gold plated PCB um, these SMT nuts that we actually really like too and uh, you put this all together yourself and then when you're done, you have your very own 555. It's a good uh, introductory surface mount soldering kit because we don't really have a lot of surface mount soldering kits. This is a pretty good one. And of course, even mad scientists make uh, beautiful, yeah. beautiful kits with great documentation. Every Everything you do is clever. It's so clever. It's clever. Evil. Okay. And evil. Okay. Um, here we go. We have uh, a new updated pack for the pie hole starter kit. So if you uh, are like me and you use like a tablet or a phone and you want to have ad blocking, but of course, you know, you can't install ad blockers very easily on iOS or Android devices, or maybe you don't trust the ad blockers, you can run a DNS ad blocker. So the Raspberry Pi Zero, basically you set it up as a, it's got Wi-Fi built in, which is really nice. You set it up on your network, install Pi Hole, and it shows up as a name server that when you set up your tablet, you just go to the settings and you put the IP address that you see here. Um, into your DNS settings, it will block ads for you and it works really well. It really speeds up your network connection um, because you're not loading all these like gigantic GIFs. Um, a lot of ad blocker detectors don't detect it. You just don't see the ads um, and you have your privacy. And then of course, if you want to add whitelists, you can do that. Um, 
or uh, you know, if you log into the, the Pi-hole server, uh, it has a web interface and you can add services that you want to add. So if you want to have um, some website that will get ad revenue, you can add that. So I'll show that on the overhead as well. Yeah, they have because now block list and approve list. Approve list, that's right. And um, you can plug uh, this all in. It's fully solder free, you just plug it right in. And we've had a version with an OLED display, but the OLED display wasn't colorful, it wasn't as large. Um, this one is really beautiful and it has uh, the number of ads blocked, the IP address, the name. It makes it really easy yeah, and nice then screen. it's a really beautiful screen. It works from every angle. And unlike an OLED, it will never go dim at all. OLEDs do eventually go dim. So this is a, a nice upgrade. It's the same price. I recommend this one because it's got the buttons and the color screen. So a nice little, it's also a great gift. Right. Give the gift of no ads. Give the gift of time. Okay. Um, from SparkFun, we've got this adorable Pi Shim. This is a little PCB that uses like a mechanical trick to attach onto a Raspberry Pi. And then it gives you one of these quick connectors. And we're using these in a lot of our sensors now. So you see here the Adafruit MSA301 accelerometer. It's a low cost accelerometer. Um, and you can just plug and play um, all sorts of sensors and devices onto a Raspberry Pi. No soldering. And the best part of all is um, because they're on a cable, you can move them without having to move your Pi. Because like, if you have an accelerometer and you want to shake it, you now don't have to shake the Pi because it's on a cable. So less Pi shaking. Um, so yeah, this is from SparkFun. Works great. I was gonna make something like this, but they did a really good job, so I'm trying to carry it, because why not? All right, next up. Speaking um, of. Next up, we have a bunch of products from Binyo. Uh, so this, uh, we'll talk about the Binyo is in a little bit, but this is an adapter that takes the Binyo USB host adapter and again, gives you uh, four different quick breakouts. So you can plug in all those sensors. It also has a little GPIO breakout area. Um, so you plug and play all sorts of sensors and devices. Um, the Binyo connector is the 2x5 connector on the right, and then these quick Stemma compatible breakouts are on the side. We also have an adapter for the Binyo that just makes it a breadboard adapter. This looks a heck of a lot like the uh, SWD adapter that we designed. It's basically the same thing except the pin labels are a little bit different. And likewise, yeah, it takes that 2x5 connector and then makes it breadboard friendly so you can plug it into a breadboard. And this looks we, familiar. This is Feather. That's right. There's also a Feather Plus uh, Quick Stomach QT adapter. So you can plug this in and it, it basically makes it easier for you to connect Feather wings to it because it's got SPI ports and I2C ports. Now, I'll mention there's not a ton of GPIO on the Binyo connectors, only 10 pins and two of them are power. So it's not like you get like all of these GPIOs, you don't get like 20 pins. But it does route like the I squared C pins and the UART pins that you're expected to use into the right location. So I think this could be handy. Okay, and the start of the show this week, besides you, Lady Ada, and our community is? The video. So you got all those accessories and you're like, but what is it that I'm plugging into it? So this is a USB host adapter and you get this like metal case with a cable. It has a USB-C connector on one end. You plug it into your computer and what it does is it shows up as a USB UART device so it like works on every operating system. And then you send it commands that will let you connect to I2C and SPI and UART and buttons and LEDs. And you don't have to write code on a microcontroller. Basically you're controlling those GPIO directly from Python. And they've written a CircuitPython interface to make it really easy. And we've got 200 libraries that you can use. So say you wanted to connect to that MSA301 accelerometer, you could plug this into the quick adapter uh, plug our board right in and then get accelerometer data directly on your computer. These are often used for test equipment. So, you know, oftentimes you have to test some GPIO or an I2C interface and you don't want to, like you want to code it on your computer because you have a lot of code or computation you want to do or you want to send data to the internet or grab data from the internet and, and manipulate it. But how, what is that glue? What is that thing that takes the computer USB and connects it to sensors that are I2C or SPI or GPIO? Well, this is it. Okay. Also, it comes in a nice case. It comes in a nice case, uh, and it, yeah, it comes in a zipper case, and it also comes with a breadboard adapter and a USB cable, so it's ready to go. And it's, it's kind of designed for professional use. Um, I will say this is not that different than um, people who've used FT232H. That's a very similar board, or the MCP2221A. Um, it's a common p thing that people want to do, but what's nice about this is it's pin compatible with uh, existing test equipment boards that you might have used, but it's a lot cheaper and all the 
software is open source. You can like code it in Python or C or shell script or what have you.